What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. It is Halloween today, so happy Halloween to everybody watching this video right now. As you can see, I have decided to dress up as a washed up college football player for Halloween. Haha, <laughs> joking. But for real though, um, today's video we're going to be doing a back workout. We're going to be doing it at my local community gym. You guys have seen some of my, uh, some of my videos there before. Got to drink a little bit of pre-workout. Um, I'm actually going to be playing a couple games of the new Call of Duty Black Ops 4. If any of you guys play Black Ops 4 on Xbox One or just play video games on Xbox One in general, hit me up and I will give you guys, um, I might actually leave my gamer tag in the description below. Play a lot of uh, mostly first person shooter games, but like if you guys ever wanted to play with me, I'd be super down for that. Bandit wants to say hi. Actually, he just wants to play with his toy. There's Bandit. But anyways, I'm gonna play a couple games of this and then we're gonna head to the gym. We'll see you guys there. Too bad for the first game on. I think I did, let's see what we got here. This 17 and nine, as you can see, not too bad. Definitely a pretty average game for me, but that's enough of the video games. Let's get to the gym. One of the best parts about having a gym in your community is that you can start to figure out when all the times are. And let there be light. Let there be marvelous, marvelous light. But yeah, you can figure out when the gym is empty, when nobody comes, especially like tonight. Like, you know, it's Halloween, there ain't gonna be nobody here. So we've got the whole freaking gym to ourselves. Like I said earlier, we're doing back. Um, all we have here is a Smith machine, pull up bar. We do have some cables and dumbbells that go up to, I believe, 50 pounds, 55, 50 pounds. So we're gonna make do. Um, this isn't, no, you know, this isn't gonna be like my every single day go-to back routine, but it is gonna have a lot of the same movements that I would normally have. I'm just gonna be using, like, say, like the Smith machine. And then like I'll be doing like, you know, dumbbell single arm rows, but instead of using like 80 pounds and doing like 10 reps, I'm gonna be using the 50 pounds and doing like 20 reps. So we're gonna be modifying it um, as, we, as we need to because, you know, we just don't have like super heavy weight that we can work with right now. But we're gonna, we're gonna just jump right into it. Always start with a good warm up, do some dynamic stretching, some shoulder mobility. I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out right now. Let's jump into it. Very first exercise that we're gonna do, we've got the bent over barbell row. It's on the Smith machine, so don't freaking roast me in the comments. But just it's that bent over, neutral grip, and you're just rowing, rowing up. Obviously, you guys will see how I'm doing it in the video. But we're gonna start off since we're doing a lot of lightweight, high repetition type exercises tonight. We're gonna be doing four to five sets, probably 20 reps per exercise. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the first exercise, which is the uh, bent over barbell rows. exercise is done so the bend over barbell row is mainly an exercise for your upper back for your traps maybe even a little bit of like the inner portion of your back but what we're gonna be doing right now are the bent over single arm dumbbell rows and these are mainly gonna focus more so on your lats you're gonna be able to really drive that elbow really far back on the on the pulling motion 
and you're really going to be able to connect to that lower portion of your lap. So we're really going to focus on that. It's really lightweight. So we're going to take our time. We're going to feel the squeeze. We're going to make sure that we're contracting the muscle. We're not just moving weight. We're not just lifting weight for the sake of, of lifting weight. So let's go. Now we're moving on to our third exercise of the night. Typically, the first two exercises are the really heavy ones where you're doing, you know, like your compound movements or something like that. And then the last exercises in the workout, <clears throat> excuse me, are like the lighter ones where you're focusing more on like the stretch and the contraction of the muscle. So we're gonna be doing those straight arm pull downs or pull overs or pull throughs. People call them a lot of different things. But it's really, again, just to get that good stretch in your side, in the lat, and really get that good contraction with your back, squeeze with your traps when you're coming back um, on the rowing motion. So again, we're keeping with the same um, sets and reps as we've been doing this whole workout. Four to five sets, 20 reps per exercise. Let's get into it, man. Fourth and final exercise of the workout. You're gonna take a bench and you're gonna slightly elevate it like you're gonna be doing some type of incline press, except you're gonna be laying over the top of it like, you, you know, your arms hanging down like you're gonna be doing curls or something, but you're gonna be rowing up these dumbbells. You guys will see what I'm talking about when I actually film myself doing the workout. But I want you guys to really focus on getting a full stretch at the bottom with your arms letting them straighten all the way out. And then after you row, I want you to come up a little bit and stick your chest out, kind of arch your back a little bit and just really squeeze the crap out of your entire back. Because the rowing, that's gonna get your traps, it's gonna get your upper back. And then that arching of the back is gonna really activate your lower back and really just get help you get that full contraction of the entire back. Again, it'll make a lot more sense when you guys actually see me doing the workout, but I wanna kinda of explain it to you guys a little bit before I actually jump into it. So let's jump into it. So that video has been up for a little while now and Devin Allen still has not reached out to me. So I'm gonna give it like another week or so and if he doesn't reach out, I'm gonna do another random drawing to give away to one of you subscribers. I really do wanna follow through on this. I really do wanna give back to you guys and really thank you guys for all the support that you've given me. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I really appreciate you guys that have been supporting me up to this point. Um, stay tuned for more good content and we'll see you next time. Hey,